do you want to talk about your vocal production at all? I was like, I was going to ask maybe what like one sort of tip or trick when you're in the studio that you that you do. One of the tricks is VoiceStraw.com, and this is not a shameless plug, but I always would do it with a vocal fry like this, ah, with the straw, blow my cheeks up, and make sure my tongue is down like I'm yawning like this. You know, the larynx drops when it does that. And there was a paper that came out three years ago where this um, uh, laryngologist swabbed like a hundred, well, maybe a thousand singers, I, we'll just go at hundred, singers where they swabbed the vocal folds in the pharynx. And they noticed that cellular regeneration started happening as a result of that. And so I've always done the vocal fry with the straw in a bottle of water to add more back pressure to stretch out not only the vocal folds, but the pharynx that sits above it. Anytime you're doing television, voiceover work in the studio recording and your voice start to feel a little bit of fatigue, pick up the straw and straw phonate just for a little while. You don't have to max out the top of your range or the bottom. Just slow pitch glides with, once again, the base of the tongue down, cheeks blowing up like a balloon, and it'll help reset the larynx. I find it also, it, not only does it cre create the back pressure that helps reset the larynx, but it also, if I say straw phonate between, uh, in, 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 interval, in the set, yeah. th that's like in my song. Oh, in the interval. Yeah, right? no, absolutely. Then it helps me put my voice in the right place, place mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And then when I t and if I can come off the straw and sing the note, it's it's in the right spot rather than being here. Yeah, you know oh, it's yeah. up there. So that's that's it's helpful for that for me too. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, with voice straw, voice straw that you know Mindy also have these collapsible cups mm -hmm. that you can expand out and put one of the straws in, and you can sing through full songs with the cup, you know, tightly around your lips and sing the whole vocal phrase and then pull it off and then you'll be surprised at how much projection, mm -hmm. you know, much more volume you get out of doing that as well, which is really, really awesome and yeah. fantastic for the voice. So having it in between takes in the studio, which is great, on stage when you're performing live and you come off the stage and if you have a quick change, it takes 30 seconds to a minute and a half, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? If you do that, like when we did the Man of the Woods tour, you know, I would be waiting by Justin's dressing room. He'd hand off the straws. He'll go in, Johanna, they'll help him change. And the whole time he got the straws on, putting his clothes on. Now, yeah. can, mm -hmm. is it is it as helpful to just do it with just the straw or do you need it in water? I like it in water. I do too. Now, you know, I could take it out and just use the straw by itself. Mm -hmm. But the water, for me, when people don't really, they try and cheat. If their lips aren't tight around the straw, you hear this extra hiss of air leaking. So with the water, it exposes that. You have less bubbles in the water. Mm -hmm. But when your lips are tight around the straw, you'll get that back pressure. And then knowing that the, the airflow is definitely coming out of the tube of the straw, it's only going to help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'll use the straw phonation as part of my um, vocal cool down mm -hmm. after the show. So I'll do that for the first five, five minutes of uh, cooling the voice down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.